Hey, everybody. Welcome to Chin Fat. The next several episodes, I'm going to be going over all these items in the toolbar here. And I'm going to start with this tool right here, which is called the selection tool. First of all, if you have, have selected a different tool, like the hand tool or something like that, and you're trying to navigate with your tool here, uh, you can shortcut it by hitting the letter V as in Victor. I guess the V is kind of shaped like an arrow. So that's, so that's a good way to remember the arrow tool. And you'll notice that it selects that when I do that. And most of these tools here will have those features here. Where you can hover over it and hit like Y for the slit tool, P for the pen tool, H for the hand tool, and so on. And so on. If you hover over any one of these, it will show you exactly what the shortcut is to select that specific tool. Right now, I am going to hit my selection tool by hitting the letter V, and let's show you what that does. The selection tool is a multi-tool in one. Uh, first of all, it does select, obviously. So if we, if we just move, hover over any one of these items here and have the arrow still present, if you get close to the edge, that turns into a trim right there. So I'm going to just grab this right there and select it, and it selects a clip. This is also a move clip. If you click on a, on a clip here and you drag it and move it somewhere else, it moves it as well. So it's a selection tool, it's a move tool, and you can also select multiple items by holding down shift and clicking on multiple clips. Right? So like this one, this one, this one, and grab those and move them. It moves those all out, and I was able to move them just by holding down shift and clicking on them, and that's how you select multiple items uh, at once to move. But keep in mind that if you select multiple uh, clips here, like that, and then you reach past the one that you're trying to grab and you grab another one, it's going to select that one and it deselects the other ones. So just be aware of that, that you actually have to move your mouse over one that has been selected and it will move all of them. I'm going to undo that, hit Command Z. Another way to select is by using the marquee tool. Now keep in mind that if you click on a clip like this and start moving, it's not going to do the marquee tool. The way you activate that is moving off of the footage when you're in this kind of uh, blank area up here or down here, and you can click and drag. Say I want to select uh, these like first four items uh, right here, the, the, those four in a row there. What I can do is I can move my mouse over at the blank area here, and I'm going to hover over the first clip that I want to select, and I'm going to click and drag, and it will drag this little square, and it will select anything that you drag into that marquee there. You can select everything if you want to, or just select a certain amount of clips, and then you can move these as you wish. And one more thing that the selection uh, tool does is, is it also a trim tool. I'm going to zoom up on this clip right here, and if you get the close to the edge of a clip right here, you'll notice it changes from the arrow to a red point arrow pointing to the right here. And what this is, is a trim tool. You can grab your clip, and if you have handles or excess footage on the end of your clip here, you can click and drag, and it will extend the, the, the out point of that footage. If you move the arrow toward the other direction, it will do the opposite. It will shrink it, and it will actually show you up in the window here what your new out point is going to be or what your new in point, if you're grabbing it from the beginning, it'll show you what your new in point is going to be. And actually, that, uh, that thumbnail to the left there, that one is the out point of the previous clip. And uh, and you can see that it is changing the, the end point of this clip and then leaving a gap while not affecting the adjacent clip. If I grab this clip here and drag it, of course, it shows the clip to the left, which is the one, the out, the out point to the left, which is the one that I'm dragging. And there's nothing to the right, so it's just showing black space uh, on the square to the right. Sometimes you might unintentionally select one of these items from the toolbar and you don't realize it. And then when you move over, especially when you're trying to grab a clip, all of a sudden notice I got that blade icon. I click and it cuts. I'm going to undo that. Just realize that you probably don't have your arrow tool selected. You've unintentionally selected another one. So in which case, you can just quickly access that by hitting the letter V and I selected it. And now I have uh, my selection tool back. Another one of the quick option here, one of the quick option with selection is oftentimes when you want to move some files. So let's say we want to move these files and we want to move them to the end here. Another way of doing that, rather than just grab them and move them like this, is you can kit, is you can do cut, copy, and paste, which is Command X C and V, which stands for cut, copy, and paste. Or on a PC, that's Control X C and V, and they're located right next to each other on the keyboard. So if I select these items right there and I want to move them, I could drag them and move them if I want to, or I can do Command or Control Cut and that will cut it and hold it on a clipboard and you're wondering where I want to paste that there. If I want to put it to the end of my timeline, I can hit end. It'll jump to the end of my timeline and I can hit command V as in Victor and it will paste uh, that selection that I just cut and copied there. Let's say you want to put that in the middle of something. Uh, let's say we want to put it like right here. We want to insert edit instead of assembly edit. That was, that was considered an, an assembly edit that I did right there. Now we're going to show you how to insert it between uh, two shots here. So let's say I want to grab these three items and I want to move them right here in between that edit. I'm going to hit Command X and now it's holding it on the clipboard. Uh, I'm going to hit letter D 
select the space and hit uh, the big delete key at the top of my keyboard uh, to fill that gap. And now I'm gonna arrow down once, twice, and right there is where I wanna stick it. I hit my arrow down to jump between the edits. And now I can hold Command V, watch what this does. It eats over everything in its path. I don't wanna do that. I wanna insert it and shove everything else out. I'm gonna undo. Uh, so the way to get around that is Command Shift V or Control Shift V on the PC. And that will paste it and shove everything else out. The shift, holding down the shift key as well, will ripple paste it and shove everything else down. And I've just inserted it uh, between those two edits there. One last thing with the selection tool is you can also select individual items, as we mentioned. But if you have uh, audio and video that are linked together like this, these, these are grouped or linked here, and it's selecting both the audio, and you only want to grab just the audio or edit just the audio, you can hold down Option and click on that audio file right there. Now, if I hit the Command X, it, cop it cuts it, I go over to the end and hit Command V and it pastes it. But the Option key does deselect it. So if you want to affect the video separately, you can do that. And hold down Option and select. And let's say you want to trim the audio a little bit, maybe on this clip right here. You can hold down Option and select. And then I can let go of Option and go to the uh, edge of this and I can trim this and it won't trim the, the video along with the audio. It's, it's only trimming the audio file that I have selected. Because if because if you weren't holding option, if you grab the edge of the video here, notice it trims both the audio and the video together at the same time. Option disconnects it from the, from the video, so you can just mess with the audio file or the video file alone. Well, that's it for this episode. In the next episode, I'm going to be going over the ripple and roll tools, which are very commonly used features in professional editing software.